Hey, kindergarten, you ready to have your spring week six video? You are going to be learning about the paper birch tree today. But before we go too far, let's take a look at some of our really good examples of our willow tree from last week. You can see these students have put in backgrounds. They've got the details of the tree. These look great. Good job, guys. Before we begin, you're going to need paper, lined paper or printing paper, or your sketchbook is fine, pencil and paper, coloring supplies, and your STEM journal, because we're going to make a little note. Your guiding, I'm sorry, your expedition information. Your guiding question is, we've got the whole world in our hands. Your connection to you, from art to your uh, expedition is that we are learning how to draw trees and how to draw parts of the trees, like the roots and the branches and leaves. Our learning targets for today is that I can identify shapes in nature to help me draw. I can identify the details of a paper birch tree and I can begin to draw a paper birch tree. So if we're gonna look at the design process, where are we in the big scheme of it? Are we empathizing? Are we defining? Ideate, prototype, test, or share? Well, right now, we're going to define our problem in art today, and that is, how do you draw a paper birch tree? And we're about to ideate. You're going to do a sketch of it. Then you're going to do a prototype, which is, well, the sketch is kind of a prototype and the ID8. You're going to test it by drawing with me and then you'll share it with me. So this is the, this is the example of our tree, a paper birch tree. The, um, especially in the fall, they have these beautiful yellow and orange leaves, but they're called paper birch because their tree bark is very thin and it can peel off like paper. And that's kind of why it gets this strange, almost zigzag kind of line pattern. We're going to use that when we are making ours. So in our STEM journal, first we're going to draw a small sketch of a paper, of an art, of a birch tree. And then we're going to, in our sketchbook, draw the big tree. This is uh, an example that I've drawn about what we'll be doing. And before I finish, uh, before we go any farther, if you have any questions, you can always email me at afrans at amanaacademy.org. And always remember to check your Seesaw art folder for your assignment. So let's look at what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start in our STEM journal. We're gonna open and find a page that we could do a drawing on something that we can put something small on it. Now, clearly you guys aren't doing birds. That's next year when you're in first grade. So we're going to look at this. We're going to sneak ours in down here and that's fine because this is going to be small so we can fit it in here and we're going to write art tree and sketch. And then you can write underneath it, paper, birch. So this is going to be the first tree we don't start with a rectangle. It's weird, I know. We're actually going to start more with a letter. We're going to do a V shape. Because paper birch trees usually have a lot of skinny trunks. So we're going to make another V and then we're going to draw the bumpy kind of lines that's going to that's going to be like the tree leaf it's going to be like the tree leaves and while we're here let's look at how we're going to draw the tree leaves we're going to start with the letter U and then add a V upside down on top it's going to make a teardrop or a raindrop kind of shape then we're going to add details to the leaves. So let's look at what we're going to draw when it comes to our big tree. We're going to start again with that kind of a V shape. Now I'm not making mine perfectly straight lines because no 
tree is perfectly straight. They're always maybe a little wobbly. And then I'm going to draw this coming over. It's going to be in front of the other one. I'll have a branch coming up here. And I'll draw another V going right there. And then I think I'm going to draw the same kind of thing over here. So there's a V. There's a V. I'm going to come down. That's going to be the tree. Now I'm going to make these look like they're branches that are standing out. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to add that U that we've done in the past to make it look like it's in front. Da, like that. Next, we're going to add the ground. And we're going to add those leaves up at the top, kind of bumpy, bumpy. Like I'm looking at kind of bushy. And we're going to add some openings because we're going to put the sky back there. Then we're doing the U for the bottom of the leaf, upside down V, put a little stem at the bottom, and the lines that go through, and this is, remember, this is how the leaf gets its food. So now that we've got this, we're going to look at the coloring. We're going to do yellow for the leaves, orange when we do an outside, green, blue, that's not green, green, blue, and just a little bit of brown. So here you're going to see that I take the brown crayon and I outline our tree trunk and then I start adding these little lines, almost like a dash if you know what that is, going horizontally or just sideways on the tree trunks. This gives it the paper bark feel. Look. And so we have, all right, once you've added the little dots, that is the end of your paper birch. Thank you guys. I'll see you next week.